Next, we'd love to have with us Dr. Divya. Dr. Divya is a woman of God and is actively involved in mission activities. She is familiar to most of us as she had been a part of Mahaniya in the year 2018. She did her UG at Padaya Medical College and her PG in Community Medicine at CMC Vellur. She has also been a part of the uh, EHC Mission Hospital Madhya Pradesh and was used mightily by God. At present, she works at Government Taluk Hospital, Adi Malai. Over to you, ma'am. Hello, dear friends. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Divya and I am here to share with you a Christmas message on the eve of Christmas. I want to title my message as Against All Hope, In Hope, Believe. I have taken this from the very famous verse of Romans chapter 4 verse 18 which says Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and became the father of many nations. As you know, these are very tiring times, trying times, very difficult times where you don't know where you're heading to. But even in these times, God wants us to believe against all hope, in hope, believe Him. That He is able to shine light through all these situations. The Christmas has always been brought, brought up, given us a message of hope. From time immemorial, God has always brought hope whenever there was not even a hint of hope. If we go to the very first chapter of the Bible from Genesis chapter 1 verses 1, it says, In the beginning God created heavens and the earth. There is, it is said that there is a lot of gap between the first and the second verse. A lot of things happened. The greatest creation that God had created, angel of God, sinned and fell and became Satan. And then what happened? It is written in verse 2. Now the earth was formless and empty and was, there was darkness in the surface of the earth. And did God stop there? No, because it says in verse 3, And God said, Let there be that light. When God brought that light, all the darkness that was there, it went away. Again, if we come to Exodus in the second book of Bible, when the people of God were suppressed and harassed during the reign of the Pharaoh, you know, Pharaoh had forgotten what Joseph had done, what Israelites had done for them during when Joseph had interpreted the dream and helped him from during the famine. But he had forgotten all that. Did God forget the people in misery? No. Because God calls out Moses in chapter 3 from the burning bush. And what does he say? I have indeed seen the misery of the people in Egypt. And I am concerned about their suffering. So even during these times, remember, God is concerned about our suffering. And he will bring us out to into his light. Throughout the Bible, again and again we see, whenever these there are darkest times in the people of God, when there was no hope at all, He has always raised people, kings, shepherds, prophets, kings and also judges so that they can come and redeem the people of God. God used them and whenever there was no hope at all, God gave hope. And to end it all, He gave his own son Jesus Christ once and for all so that we may have hope forever. In Luke chapter 2 verse 10 he calls the shepherds and announce the angels announce the good news. What do they say? Do not be afraid. A good news that will bring great joy for all people. Today in the town of David a savior has been born. He is the Messiah the Lord. Romans chapter 6 verse 10 says the death he died, he did, died to sin once for all. So right from his birth to death and the greatest death that he died on the cross even proclaims us hope that we live in that hope even in these trying times. Now I want to bring your attention to Second Timothy where Paul gives instructions to Timothy even as he is also going through a very tough time. 
Christians all over the nations during that time were going through persecution under Nero and they were being scattered and Timothy was a little timid and shy probably and even though he was brought up with a lot of word of God in his life through his mother and grandmother he was timid and he was shy he was afraid during these times as it is considered this is one of the last letters of Paul writing to Timothy encouraging him there are many ways in which he has encouraged him in the in this letter first he comes up with a few instructions that he has told Paul to, told Timothy and this can also encourage us, us during this time first he says in chapter 1 verse 6 he says fan to flame the gift of God which is in you I know what you're thinking right now you're thinking I have not been gifted with any gift if you're thinking that way you are wrong because first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 that 7 says that each one have you have have been gifted with a spiritual gift it might not be necessarily preaching or teaching or something very fantastic in the spiritual world it can be even even encouraging listening you know as doctors we need a lot of uh, patient listening to hear more than what the patient is speaking we can actually you know peep into his heart as he is opening his mouth so you need to be even a good listener so God has given you different different talents maybe it is in the IT field you are good at computers you are good at writing stories poems whatever good gift God has given you in during these times God wants you to fan it to flame so that it can be used in the kingdom of God second instruction that he gives is that verse 7 says for God has not given you a spirit of fear or timidity as some version says but of power love and a sound mind or self-discipline during these times where everyone is fearing around everyone is feared God does not want you to fear but he wants to you to have power love and self-discipline or sound mind which will help you go through these situations also he he has an instruction in chapter uh, verse 8 chapter 1 which which he says do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord Jesus and um, me as his prisoner he says never be ashamed of the gospel never be ashamed to proclaim that you are a Christian and you follow Jesus Christ whichever path you are taking because he says about two people Phygelus and Hermogenes who were actually Christians but they deserted Paul when they when he needed them the most but he also comments Onesiphorus whom he says that he often refreshed me and was with me and was not ashamed of my chains so never be ashamed of the gospel nor people who are associated with Christianity now again he comes to three illustrations very important illustrations as he says it comes it, it is given in chapter 2 verse 3 he gives illustration of three people one a soldier of Christ a soldier second a farmer and also an athlete so what can we learn from these illustrations first he says when chapter 2 verse 3 join me in the suffering like a good soldier of Jesus Christ what is the peculiarity of a soldier he is always focused focused to always please his master he is never entangled with the civilian affairs nothing affects him what goes, goes around his world his only work is to please God and so he is very focused and pleasing the only thing that he loves is pleasing his commanding officer similarly we are called to be focused on Christ pleasing him second he is comparing it with an athlete and what does the athlete do he competes according to the rules it is not necessary it is not uh, necessary just that you walk in Christ you know focusing on Christ you need to walk with according to the will of God according to what God decides in your life and it says in Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 whatever you do work it with all your heart as unto the Lord that is what God wants from you not, not only to be focused but also to take God in every step that you take seek him and you will find him verse 6 
says in chapter 3 that he, the third illustration that he gives is that of a farmer. And what is he? He is focused. The farmer is focused on the crop that he will receive. And he is also doing things, all things according to what will give him a good crop. He is uh, doing things what God wants him to do during that time. And again, God, uh, he is encouraging him that you should have the patience that of a farmer, waiting till God will reveal that good gift in you. First Peter chapter 5 verse 6 says, Humble yourself therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. You know that when you are focused, when you do things according to what God wants you to do during these times also, definitely there will not be any delay in the gift that God has for you. Also, Timothy is being given a warning here. He says in the same chapter, was, uh, in, the, in the second chapter, he says, for time will come when people will put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them with a great number of teachers to say whatever their itching ears want to hear. So, the time is coming and it is already here. People who call themselves Christians would want, would not, you know, would forsake sound doctrine and they would want to hear only good things, you know. They don't want to hear that we have been called to suffer for Christ. But they will say there is no suffering. There's only good things that will happen in your life. Well, if you take all the uh, uh, believers in Christ, all the apostles, if we, most of them were martyred. So isn't that not suffering that God has allowed them into your life? But it has helped them to come out and be shining stars so that they will be remembered as uh, you know, help us also in a suffering as we go. So, uh, the last thing that Timothy is being asked is, Second Timothy chapter 3 verses 14, he says, But as for you, continue in what the Lord have, uh, that continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because the Holy Scriptures which make, it will make you wise and for the salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. So God is encouraging us that we will continue in what we have learned and what we have been convinced. And the Holy Scriptures which will make us wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. This is a small message that I want to encourage you that you have hope against all hope. You still believe and continue to be in Jesus Christ. God bless you.